required. So I was at the gym today. And while I was there, I had the realization that I've become blase with my magic. And what I mean by that is I'm used to seeing tricks constantly every single day. And now in order to impress me, it just seems like it has to be convoluted and twisted and morphed to, to really get a reaction out of me. And as I'm performing more and more, I'm realizing that I'm not like everyone else. Most people don't see the amount of magic that I'm fortunate to be able to witness. And that usually the simplest tricks that I perform really do get the biggest reactions out of people. For instance, we forget that something as simple as a blank card is in and of itself impressive. Most people have never seen or touched a card like this. They might not even know they exist. And if you can incorporate a blank card or a blank deck into your routine or a trick, this actually might be more impressive than the trick itself, which is funny and it made me realize that my tricks don't have to be complicated. But I think it's a good practice to get out of the bubble that you create for yourself and realize that most people are impressed with the simplest tricks. So something that I'm gonna work on is just making things simple this week and hopefully you guys can join me and sort of figure out how you can make your trick simple as well. All right, so one more thing, and it's a really cool thing. A younger magician emailed me asking me to review Theodore Anneman's Practical Mental Magic, which is timely, because I'm actually going through it as I'm pursuing more mentalism. And because he's a younger magician interested in learning from books, and that's sort of my thing, if you want a free copy, I will send you one. So go ahead and comment below and I'll get in contact with you and make sure you get a copy because I think you should have it. If you are interested, I'll be reviewing this at the end of the week. And if not, see you next Monday. Peace.